Here we go. Greetings and salutations. I am J.F. Jim Straw, here with more practical instruction in the arts and sciences of making money. Over the past 50 years that I know of, some of the most profitable, if not the most profitable, entrepreneurial endeavors have involved closeouts. Now, when I say closeouts, I'm talking about excess and surplus merchandise, liquidations, redundant equipment and machinery, and bankruptcies. As a matter of fact, nearly 20 years ago, I made over $1 million in just about 60 days on just one deal. Of course, the excess and surplus merchandise deals are for far more uh, available. You'll find them everywhere. Back in the day, I used to spend hours on the telephone, uh, paying over a dollar a minute for long distance, telephoning manufacturers, wholesalers, distributors, dealers, just asking if they had any excess or surplus merchandise they wanted to get rid of. Today you've got it so much easier. <clears throat> get a pencil and write this down. Go to your favorite search engine, type in the kind of merchandise that you're looking for, followed by the plus sign and the word closeouts. I just did a search for toys plus closeouts and had 179,000 hits. It'll work with any kind of product. Just type in the kind of product you're looking for, followed by the plus sign and the word closeouts. Of course, you'll end up with about a gazillion sources of products that you can market. But just remember, those products aren't worth anything until someone buys them from you. Every month I get about a dozen emails from people saying, where can I sell X quantity of X closeout merchandise? I can just see the dumbfounded look on their face when I tell them who's selling what you have to offer. As a matter of pure fact, every seller is also a buyer. Think about it for a minute. Shoe stores have to buy shoes somewhere. Grocery stores have to buy groceries. Furniture stores have to buy furniture. Any kind of merchandise marketed, the seller also has to be a buyer. Using my example of toys, I had 179,000 hits. If I were going to get into the toy game, I'd simply go out to those websites, pick out maybe a dozen or so toys that I could buy for 10% or less of their retail price. Then I'd simply go market them to the toy sellers. I could sell both to the, both the retailers and the wholesalers because at 10% of the retail price, I know full well I could beat the price that the wholesalers are playing. Now I could act as a finder <clears throat> if I could make an arrangement with the owner of the closeouts, or I could act as a pre-seller, simply sell the products, order them, and reship them to my buyers, or I could buy them for my own account and sell them as I wanted to. It works with any kind of product. You simply locate the closeouts and then market them to those who are selling them already. Of course, when I say any kind of product, someone always asks, well, what kind of products are you talking about? Well, what about hand tools, power tools, luggage, leather goods, sporting goods, sports equipment, uh, baby goods, foodstuffs, photographic equipment, DVD players, televisions, you name it, any kind of product. And of course, once you have a source for those products, just go looking for the sellers. And those sellers are buyers, and they don't just buy onesies and twosies. They buy a dozen lots, gross lots, some of them even thousand lots. Give it a try. Your bank account will love you for it. And you'll make a lot more money in a few hours than you will sitting behind a computer screen all day. Well, that's it for this time. Until next time, keep well.